Merch. We have merch. 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 Bonfire. Merch. Merch. Bonfire. Merch. 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 Oh, I mean, merch. Merch. I'm gonna move to combat. Yes. And nah, dude. Uh, three at you. Nah, dude. <laughs> Sounds good. I will take three. Go to thirty-six. I will uh, trigger the <gasps> infamous cruel claw, and let's show uh, Ken what big flips are about. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> it's no, Ulamog, it's Ulamog, the Defiler! The <laughs> oh! And that stays exiled. Oh, Great. Uh, so no. let's go ahead and let's just <laughs> read that out. When you cast a spell, target opponent exiles half their library, round it up. I choose you! <laughs> I love Eldrazi. I do too. Yeah. Uh, I just also know the feeling of, like, playing Eldrazi feels amazing. Experiencing Eldrazi from the other side, <laughs> Welcome to Things in the Ice, a competitive EDH channel where Bloomboro has awoken our inner personas. I'm Jeremy, also a fox. I'm John, and I'm a ferret. Uh, we've got another matchup of the Gauntlet today, <clears throat> where we're throwing one of the commanders from Bloomboro against the top tier commanders of the format. Let's go, it's infamous Gruul Call. Let's see if this Rakdos. Big Flipper can flip out Kinnon and just get some big ass Eldrazi's onto this board. Are we gonna get tentacled out? Please, I hope so. Let's go! Welcome back. We got some great action for you. We got some Bloom Burrow fun. And let's look at these hands. Welcome back. I'm Sean from Things in the Ice. And on the third installment of the Gauntlet, I am bringing you the infamous Cruel Claw. It's mainly a deck of, shh, I've got a secret. It's really just El all Eldrazi in the deck and 60 lands. So my goal is to destroy everything they have and bring it back on my side. Opening hand has my favorite card in CEDH, Opposition Agent. Along with a little bit of fast mana, we're gonna get to early swings and some big flips. I am going first. Uh, any pregame actions? Nope. Negative. Negative. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna draw a card. Oh. Ooh, interesting. I am going to play a Chromox. Nice. Imprinting an Imperial Seal. Oh, who needs it? Mm. Yeah, I don't. And then <laughs> I will play a Mountain. Pass through. Oh. I will play a Flooded Strand. Crack it going to 39. Off of that Flooded Strand, I got this a Tropical Island. Mm -hmm. And then I will play Hatsune Miku, uh, otherwise known as Elvish Mystic. <laughs> Elvish Mystic. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and pass it in. Tampa Peep, draw. I'll play a Chrome Box. Oh. Mm -hmm. I will exile this Imperial Seal. What? Are you what? <laughs> Is you both happening. did it, twinsies! Oh, oh my god! Put on your vest! Put on your vest! That's Don't so cute. Shot. Dude. I'm gonna play this Mana Crypt. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is a little more impressive, sorry. Okay. <laughs> and then I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. We are going to start with my guy, mm -hmm. Ryrak. My uh, guy! Uh, even before we play a City of Brass. That's a kind of respect I appreciate, mm -hmm. Steve. Yes. It's also not yeah. a Chrome Mox. It's yeah. not a Chrome Mox. Uh, Imperial Seal. I'm against the grain in this game, so I'm going to cast a Paradise Mantle. Spell number three. <laughs> Is Lotus Metal. Yes. Uh, I will tap City of Brass going down to 39. I know. You're going to need I'm it. I'm going to attach Paradise Mantle to my guy, and I'm going to pass the turn from there. All right. I'm going to untap, upkeep, and draw. I will play a swamp that I just drew. Oh. And I will tap three for the infamous cruel claw. Guys, Woo. guys, Woo. it's the weasel. Cruel claw. It's Voxy. What does it do? Uh, it has menace. And whenever the infamous cruel claw deals combat damage to a player, 
Exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. You may cast that card by discarding a card rather than paying its mana cost. That's Interesting. Cool. Interesting. And from there, I'll pass the turn. From there. From there, I'll go to Undap Upkeep and then my draw skip. Thank you very much. And then from there? <laughs> From there, I'll play a Cavernous Souls. Nope, oh, here it comes. Nah, dude. A Cavernous Souls enters the battlefield. I'm going to go with Wizard. I'm going to pay three and cast Nadu. Uh, Uncountable because of Cavern of Souls. Yeah? Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Great. Pass it, dude. Thank you, dear. Untap. Unkeep. Dead draw. It's a virus. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Overgrown tomb, don't you know? Oh dear. Shock it you in? You betcha. You betcha I'll shock it in. You're going down to what? Uh, 38, don't you know? <laughs> and uh, then there. Listen, the accent <laughs> supersedes game actions, okay, true. Sean? Yes. No one cares about what's happening. We care about the accent. Yes. That's true. True, true, true. <laughs> and from there, take off and uh, pass the turn. Oh, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Untap, oh, no. oh, no. upkeep, draw. Hey there, where's your accent? Why are you faking My accent? Why are you faking Isn't to a fake. camera there? Yeah, I was going to say, some of us don't need to pretend. Yeah. <laughs> this fake British accent you got going there. What's that all about? Oh. oh yeah, the classic <laughs> British phrase. Oh. Uh, I'm going to cast a Bloodstained Mire. Crack my Lotus Petal. Oh, no. Right, we're playing yeah. Magic. Take one damage. Going down to 38, and I will cast Rustic Study. Rustic Storty. Pass turn. Untap. I'll keep. Yeah. I will play a swamp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move to combat. Yes. And nah, dude. Uh, three at you. Nah, dude. <laughs> Sounds good. I will take three. Go to 36. I will uh, trigger the <gasps> infamous Cruel Claw. And let's show uh, Ken what big flips are about. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh! It's no, Ulamog, it's Ulamog the Defiler! The Defiler. <laughs> oh! And that stays exiled. Oh, Great. Uh, so no. let's go ahead and let's just <laughs> read that out. When you cast a spell, target opponent exiles half their library, round it up. I choose you! Uh, you want to discard a card to cast that spell, sure do. sir? There's a mountain <laughs> to cast it. Trigger, Rhystic Stunny. I will pay the one. Okay. Awesome. Hmm. I've counted my deck. It's got 89 cards in it. So I will exile 45 cards, which is a substantial number of cards. Yes. Yes. It's half your library. Round Wait, it up. Round it up. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's what the card says. I didn't see a finale of Devastation or Cephalid Coliseum in there, so I'm feeling okay. <laughs> or Shuko, or... Uh -huh. Lightning uh, Greaves. Uh-huh. Yeah! yeah. Hey. Or Thassa's Oracle. Yeah. Doesn't exist in this deck. Really? So it would not be there. Correct. You didn't see it, because it doesn't exist. Ulamog the Defiler will enter the battlefield with a number of plus one, plus one counters on it, equal to the greatest mana value among cards in Exile, which is the One Ring for four. It has Annihilator X, where X is the number of counters it has. So, so it's got, it's got Annihilator four. 4. It's currently in 11 11. It's... I will pass the turn. <laughs> I love Eldrazi. I do too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just also know the feeling of like playing Eldrazi feels amazing. Experiencing Eldrazi from the other side hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was entirely the game design that they yeah, were going for. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. Just uh, I'm gonna play a land of return. It's a guy's cradle. Oh, that's a good card. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'm gonna pay two and cast Springheart Nantuko, not mm. paying for Ristic Studies. Then I'll pay three and cast Umbral Mantle. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. paying for Ristic Study. All right, uh, let's equip Nadu with Umbral Mantle, Trigger Nadu. It's a Green Sun Zenith. Uh, let's equip Umbral Mantle to Springheart Nantuko. It's a Lotus Cobra. Let's equip Umbral Mantle to Elvish Mystic. It's a Mind Break Trap. Let's equip Umbral Mantle to Nadu. It's a Command Beacon. Enters Battlefield triggers Springheart Nanduko. Let's equip Umbral Mantle to Elvish Mystic. Trigger Cephalid Coliseum. Enters the Battlefield. I get another Insect. Equip Springheart Nanduko with Umbral Mantle. Trigger Mana Confluence. Enters the Battlefield. I get... Another insect. 
this is why I targeted them. And uh, unfortunately, I exiled to the exact cards that they needed. I will equip one of the insects with Umbral Mantle. Trigger, it's Sylvan Paradise. What are you going to do here, Sean? I legit can't do anything. You have an Eldrazi. Use your Eldrazi. You, use <laughs> yeah, the Eldrazi! On my turn, I might be able to. <laughs> I'm going to activate Umbral Mantle targeting one of the insects. Trigger, it's a Lotus Petal. I'm going to activate Umbral Mantle targeting one of the insects. Trigger, it's a Cyclonic Rift. Activate the Umbral ma Mantle targeting one of the insects. Trigger, it's a Pendle Haven. Make another insect on ETB. I'm going to equip another bug with the Umbral Mantle trigger, Archdruid's Charm. I'm going to equip an insect with the Umbral Mantle trigger, Tribute Mage. The funny thing is, I have a card in this deck to counteract all of this stuff. Okay. Yeah, do you have it in your hand? Nope. Oh. oh. Why didn't you use that Imperial Seal? To go and get should have. it. I, should have. I needed it for the mana. Equip this insect with Umbral Mantle trigger. It's Eldritch Evolution. I'm just gonna say this out loud just so we know that I'm not wait, trying to waste everyone's time. My, 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 my thought process is I need to go until I get Finale of Devastation and something that untaps the guy's cradle. I'm gonna pay two and cast that Lotus Cobra. Trigger, Rhystic Study. You may draw. All right, I am going to equip this insect with Umbral Mantle, trigger, force of will, into hand. I am going to equip uh, Lotus Cobra with Umbral Mantle, trigger, soul ring, into hand. Uh, let's equip Lotus Cobra again, trigger, <laughs> Lily Splash Mentor. Tap mana confluence for a green, lose a life, go to 35. I will cast Sylvan Safekeeper. Go ahead and draw from Rhystic Study. Equip Umbral Mantle to Sylvan Safekeeper. Trigger. Flesh Duplicate into hand. Equip Sylvan Safekeeper with Umbral Mantle again. Trigger. Manamo! Hey! Oh. Manamo enters. I make a bug from Springheart Name Tuco. I also will make a green mana from Lotus Cobra. And there's Guy's Cradle. Manomo can untap your guys. Oh yeah, thank you for that. That's something I always forget about that's actually legendary. Equip Umbral Mantle to this bug. Trigger Lightning Greaves into hand. Uh, equip Umbral Mantle to this bug again. Trigger Urza Saga enters the battlefield. Trigger Springheart Nantuko. Make an insect. Trigger Lotus Cobra. Make a, another green mana. Equip Umbral Mantle to this insect. Trigger. Finale of Devastation. Uh, equipped Umbral Mantle to this insect. Trigger. Mox Amber. Tap Cephalid Coliseum Losing Life going down to 34 to activate Manamo uh, to untap Gaia's Grid. Any responses to that? Yes. That's an ability, correct? It Not is an ability. ability. Correct. Okay, so I will do the only thing I can do and cast Deflecting Swat. Fair. I will... Respond and cast Fierce Guardianship, paying one okay. for a six study. Great. That counters Deflecting as well. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Finale of Devastation X equals 11. Not paying for a six study. I'm going to tap three and cast Opposition Agent, not paying the one. I'm going to Exile Trinket Mage, uh, lose one life, going to 33, and cast Force of Will, targeting the Opposition Agent. You can go ahead and draw from Mystic Study. Crack my Bloodstained Mire. So off of the Bloodstained Mire, I grabbed an Underground Sea. Uh, and then we can continue down the stack. Great. So Force of Will, uh, targeting the Opposition Agent. Counter. Finale of Devastation on the stack. Great. I thought you had something. <laughs> I wish. Help me. Help me. <laughs> From Finale of Devastation, I got Displacer Kitten, and all of my creatures get plus 11, plus 11. Meow, 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 meow. meow. I'm going to go to combat. So, for combat, I'm swinging four 12 12s at you, four 12 12s at you, ah. and then a 12 12, a 14, four, uh, uh, a 14-15 in the air, uh, a 13-13, and a 13-12 all chip. I will block the biggest non-flyer, which would be Displacer Kitten. 13, uh, 14, that's 27. 11, that's 38. Oh! 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 Man. 
All right. D38 damage. I am down to two life. And you're both dead? <laughs> and you're all drunk. Yeah, I'm yeah. dead. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely should have played Toxic Deluge instead yeah, of Rustic well. Study. I probably should have just kept going there instead of like casting the finale then, but that's all right. Cast Lotus Petal, trigger, targeting Nadu. Nadu. Oh. Oh. It's already been triggered twice. Mm -hmm. Not Cast Mox Amber, trigger displacer, kitten, targeting. Displacer Kitten. Trigger Nadu, Spellseeker into my hand. Cast Soul Ring, Trigger Displacer Kitten, targeting Nadu, uh, Trigger Nadu. Summoner's Pact into my hand. Cast Lightning Greaves, Trigger Displacer Kitten, targeting Nadu, Trigger Nadu. Arbor Elf into my hand. Equip Nadu with the Lightning Greaves, Trigger Nadu. City of Brass enters the battlefield. I make another insect, I get mana that I'm not gonna use. Yeah. Let's end this gosh dang turn. Going to discard. Discarding Archdruid's Charm, Eldritch Evolution, Spellseeker, Green Sun, Zenith, Summoner's Pack, and Tribute Mage. I untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, that's not going to help. That's another land. Good game. Good game! <laughs> what will my next split be? All right, back with some double header action. John stepped out, Steve stepped out. We got Seth and myself. I'm playing Kinnon. Seth is on some Quark Sakashima action. I'm going first. Let's check out these hands. Any pre-game actions? None for me. No, sir. Nope. Fantastic, I shall start us out by drawing my card. Mm, yes. I'm gonna play a Flooded Strand. I'm gonna crack it, losing one life, 39, and I'm gonna search myself a lane. Off of the Flooded Strand, I found this tropical island. I am going to tap a Tropical Island for a Delighted Halfling, and then try to pass my turn quickly. Uh, Mana Confluence. Chroming Mox. Pitching... Dispel. Pay one life, going down to 39er. And this Dispel Mana for an Arcan Signet. I believe that is all I'd like to do. Pass the turn. Lock it out. Draw. Play a Bloodstained Mire. Crack. Wow. The Bloodstained Mire. Uh, from that Bloodstained Mire, I'm getting a Volcanic Islands, and we will pass turn. You don't know. So exciting. <laughs> Untap, Thrilling. Up Thrilling up gameplay. Draw. I am going to play a Mountain. Mm. And pass turn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you untap up, you draw. Uh, pay three life. Going down to 36. Mm -hmm. Do I as bees greedy, or do I as bees safe? B E aggressive. Be e aggressive. You know what? Fuck it. Come at me, you fuckers. I'm gonna cast cannon. Counterable. A counterable cannon. Neat. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, All right. I was I'm, trying to scare you. I'm glad I'm a greedy <laughs> piece of shit. I'm gonna tap for two colorless, and I'm gonna play a talisman of curiosity. Curious. Oh my god, it's so curious. I will pass after that. Untap. Upkeep, draw. Shotgun and Overgrown Tomb, going to 37. Pay one life, going to 36, so I can be, I can be like Jeremy. <clears throat> like Jeremy. Oh, but that that's going to take my cannon. See, that's the only thing that you would take there. I want to double up my mana rocks. I would like bum, to bum, bum. continue this song, but I will just say this is why I'm glad I took my time and decided to keep my mana up. I will lose a life, tap for two blue, and mana drain it. You want to stop me? That's exactly what I'm trying to do, because you're going to take my cannon. <laughs> I was going to borrow your cannon. That's the same thing, Kyle! No. Does mana drain resolve? In response. Oh, god damn it. Yes. Actually, no response. Damn it. Grim Monolith. Ooh, yeah, you had the rocks, didn't you? That's why you wanted my kid in you, filthy little bitch. <laughs> I told you I just wanted a bow after a charm. <laughs> no! I sack and give it right back, I promise. Pass him. Or just give it back. Pass. On jab up, you draw. Striker Rich. Oh, it sure. resolves oh, past the turn. Right, untap, I'll keep draw. I will play a swamp. I'm gonna tap for two. And I will play a Dockside Extortionist. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I will get five Deadpool Treasures. 
I will sack three of them. Going to two. Why? To play the infamous Cruel Claw. Oh. The Weasel. Uh, from there, I will uh, pass the turn. Untap. We're going to upkeep, and then we will draw. We're going to put two colorless mana into my mana pool. You should do your weasel laugh, John. Remember your weasel laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is, that's a pretty good weasel laugh. All right, uh, one blue mana and one colorless. Uh-oh. Uh, then I cast a phantasmal image. In response, I'm going to crack two treasures and float mm -hmm. two red. Doc's eyes en enters. It's time for some big flips. I don't think Jeremy's going to burn treasure on big flips. I think Jeremy's just going to cast a concert for Curated Sphinx out of their hand. I wish. That would be so cool. I'm going to tap for two more colorless, going up to three colorless. I'm going to use all three colorless and pay two life, going down to oh, no. 33. No, Phyrexian. Phyrexian Metamorph. Cool. Doc's eyes. More treasures! So off of Dockside, I get another four treasures. That are eight treasures. Stop splashing the pot. I, f I do feel a little Stop bit like a dragon. Splash in the pot. No, Kyle! No! no! Splash in the pot! They're on my side of the table. <laughs> I get them now. They're mine. No! No! That's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. It's like chaos. Holy shit. What a turn. All right, we're going to crack three of them and we're tap passing, one said, to, to, to Big Flips. Mm -hmm. That is a whiff. That is a big fucking whiff. Another, another three treasures getting me six mana. I'll tap this for two colorless. I have one colorless floating. Big Flips. Weep, weep, weep. <laughs> Birds of Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> how to turn how to turn 14 mana into a birds of paradise that's a great lesson kids these days crack a treasure for two green i'm gonna cast a basalt i'll use one of it for the devoted druid we'll we'll pass cool 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 cool, 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 cool. upkeeping then draw play an ancient tomb then i think it's pay one life Pay three of life, have one extra mana floating. It's a Traxa! That's some good shit. So off of a Traxa, I'm choosing to keep Orcish Bowmaster, Besasia Who Endures, Demonic Consultation, and Soul Ring. With my remaining one colorless mana, I will cast Soul Ring. And then from there, passing of the turn. Go to my turn, untap, upkeep, draw. What you gonna do, Seth? Mull horribly and then be very sad about my entire game plan. I didn't really want to go to four, but I probably should have. We'll do Volcanic into a Sol Ring. Tap the Sol Ring, cast Vexing Bauble. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Uh, floating one. So that shuts me down. Yeah. I think it's a little bit of King Makey right now. Yeah. How so? Uh, you have an overwhelming board presence. No, I don't. I've got one turn before Kyle like just starts fucking chunking out my board with an Orcish Bowmaster and Kyle starts beating us to death with a 7-7 seven, seven lifelink flying death touch. It takes a while, but he might be yeah. <laughs> mostly right. I say second draw card into the land. I was actually thinking about it because I, from here all I get to do is just sit and, and deny you guys stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to use the Sol Ring and crack the Vexing Bauble to draw a card. <laughs> Do you know land? No. Five Vexing... Oh, no. Pass, All right. Right there. Untap. Up Maybe the next draw. one. Land oh. for turn. I am going to move to combat. There's one uh -huh. oh. Attracts a three at you, because I can get through to you. Trigger. Cruel Claw. All mm -hmm. right. Void Winner. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, with that on the stack, I will discard a mountain to attempt to cast Void Winner. That is a much better flip than mine. I, <laughs> I have to say I'm jealous. <laughs> Birds versus 11-9 uh, Eldrazi. Hey, I'm going to give you a high five for <laughs> Thank that. Thank you. My hand's all sweaty. Yeah. I thought someone was going to counter it. Yeah, pass from there. Sweet. Untap. And now I'm going to get my face punched in by Atraxa. <laughs> Upkeep. Draw! I have no flying or reach, so. Uh, big flips. Big flip off! Let's go! God damn it. 
I want you to, I'm just going to show you. Fucking nothing. Basalt Monolith, Mystic Remora. I'm all, fucking All whipping. cards that you want, oh, just not. Not on the bottom of my library. Mm -hmm. I told you I'd teach you what big flips look like. I'm fucking pretty sad. You know what's going to make me happy, though? I'm going to hit Seth for two. <laughs> Better track your commander damage, Jeremy. Yeah, this is going to be a painful game if I'm I have to worry about that. Pass. Yes. <laughs> Untap. Keep drawing. Go to combat. Seven at shot. Yep. We'll gain seven up to 37. 33. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Cool. Pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Hey, I got a swam. I'm going to move to... Are you going to keep on swinging with me with Atraxa? Are you going to keep having the Void when we're on board? <laughs> I'll swing it at you next turn. Uh, uh, I'll start tracking your commander damage. like the Cruel matters. Claw at you this time. Sure. Take three, down to 30. It's time for big flips. Little, big little flips. flips. Little flips. Oh, Ember Cool. World the new. How do you just keep <laughs> having that as the top card? What the fuck? I am going to discard another mountain <laughs> to attempt to cast Embercool, the world anew. Cast trigger targeting. I'm actually going to take Jeremy's. Hey, Kinnon, this is how you, this is how you big flip, buddy. <laughs> From there, <laughs> I will uh, pass the turn. So, I didn't expect <laughs> that when I untapped this turn that... Uh, I would be at this board state. Everything would be gone. Where did it all go? To Bloomboro. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to tap for three. This is colorless, so no damage. I'm going to cast Fabricate. <clears throat> Off of the Fabricate, I found the one ring. I'm going to put that into my hand, and then I will pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Untap, up, give, I will attempt to cast an Imperial Seal. I have response. Sack of treasure, tap volcanic island, soul ring, cast flare of duplication, copy target instant or sorcery spell. Uh, I'm gonna lose two, two down to 36, and I'm gonna put this card on top of my library. I will lose two going down to 33 and put this card on top of my library. I will then proceed to combat and swing at Sean for seven in the air. Four, four, fourteen commander, and then, then, then I will kill you to death. Pass turn. On top of keep draw. Oh, surprise! Do something, Seth. Cash <clears throat> chamber. Targeting dockside extortionist. Mm. Uh, seven. Pass turn. On tap. Like you thought I was joking. Up, keep and draw. At least I'll die last, cause he has all my stuff. And he probably wants to keep it. That's I'm going true. to tap for two green. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a minus one, minus one counter to untap. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap for two more green. I will tap for two blue. I will tap for two more blue. I haven't played a land yet. I will play a swamp. I'm going to tap for two more, one red and one black. And I will put Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, on the stack. Just cast in 10 drops. Just casually. Mm -hmm. Trigger, cast trigger. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to exile Atraxa and your Chromox. Crew Claw is getting uh, kind of nasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do the laugh, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move to combat. Jeremy, I'm going to send Kinnon at you, <laughs> <laughs> the infamous Cruel Claw at you, and this Dockside. These two. At you, these two dock sides, mm -hmm. Void Winnower at you, and then Kyle Emmercool at you. I uh, take six going down to 24. 13, I think. 22. Damage triggers with the infamous uh, Cruel Claw. Please, God, no more draws. Land. Please, no, no. Land. Come on, no. Land. No, Jude Lotus. Come Land. on, Jude Lotus. The One Ring. <laughs> uh, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, it's not an Eldrazi. I guess that's what I wanted. I am going to discard an, a mountain and put the one ring on the stack. Good. Yeah. I'm going to tap it and put burden counter on. Yep. To draw a card. I will <laughs> pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Put me out of my misery. Please help me. Draw. If somebody can get rid of the void winner at some point, I could maybe do something on my next turn. Pass. 
Uh, any turn I'm gonna pay for man and two life to untap my grimoire. <laughs> untap upkeep draw. Who would have thought that? I wanna play a Baseju. I am then going to pay a lot of lives. Three life with I think one left over for a Traxa. Wait, nine, ten. Okay, off of a Traxa. I got Swords, Plowshares, Phantasmal Image, Mox Opal, Command Tower, and Gataxian Probe. Pay two life to Gataxian Probe. Seth, let's see what you got over there. Good stuff. Draw a card. <laughs> Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. Draw. Me. Pass. Untap. Uh, upkeep. I will go down to 25. Draw. Very I am cool. going to play a Swamp Return. I am going to attempt to cast Painful Quandary. Oh, I love that card! <laughs> oh god, the fact that you are playing Painful Quandary in a CVDH deck is weirdly painful, but it's also, wow, this deck is so fucking weird, but I am getting my ass whooped by it, and I love it. There's uh, only five of a spell. That's it, only five a spell, that's fine, right? I'm gonna hard cast Force of Negation. I will tap to draw two. Yeah, that is exiled. I would like right, to move to combat. Mm -hmm. Going to have all of these go at Kyle. These three go at you. Lethal? Uh, it is 25. Lethal. And then attack trigger on Ulamog. Yep, exile the top 20 cards of your library. These attacks are getting nasty. So I have to block Ulamog, right? Traxa will just die and will gain seven. And Atraxa is dead. It's time for some big flips. Chromox. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to have that go to the... I'm not even going to cast it. Keep yeah, it in. Uh, two right. green, two blue, two colorless, and a third colorless. Let's big flip Kinnon. Woo! Has to be that a non-human. That yep. smile right uh, there. I'm going to play Shieldred, the Whisper one. Yes! <laughs> Wow! We are so fucked. <laughs> From there, I will pass the turn. Do you have a swamp? I'm gonna you do have a swamp. I'm gonna untap. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. keep going to draw. <laughs> Relevant. I'm gonna play this land that really doesn't matter, and I'm not even gonna bother sacrificing it. I can't do anything. Pass the turn! Untap. I'll keep draw. Command tower. Swords, plowshares, the void winner. Woo! There's it. Pay two life. Cast Phantasmal Image, copying Shield Red first, then Channel Odawar targeting Emmerpool. That'll go back to my hand. Yes, it will. Or what happens after that? Trigger on the stack. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that actually gets around it. Uh, sacrifice everything. Yes. Sack, 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 senora. Sack I mean, I hate to see my entire sack, fucking sack, board get destroyed. Sack, Give me this Sack a doll at a time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now I'll play a Mox Opal. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. I will lose two. Draw. Yeah. Tap to draw three. I am going to tap two. And I will cast Chthonian Nightmare. In response, I will cast Silence. Pass the turn. Hot diggity dog. Turn Untap. Uh, sacrifice creature to upkeep. Yep, I'm good. I, I went ahead and did that already. Upkeep draw. I gotta sacrifice this, losing one life, going down to 23. Off of the Misty Rainforest, I got this island. I'm going to tap for four, and I'm gonna cast a one ring. Mm-hmm. 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 Tap it. Draw a card. Pluto Delta. I'm also gonna crack this losing a life, going down to 22. Off of the Polluted Delta, I found this breeding pool. I'm going to shock it in, going down to 22. Fuck Pond! Fuck Pond. Uh, pass right. turn. Untap, upkeep, trigger, we will get Orcish Bowmaster. Ping Sean for one. Then I will draw. I will play this Mox Diamond, pitching a City of Brass. And do I have enough for Shield Red? I mean, for Atraxa. Different creator. Three, one tax, two taxes. We got it. Eight, nine, or ten. That's a food chain. Off of a Traxa, I'm getting Displacer Kitten, Lotus Petal, Food Chain, Dark Rit, 
and Scrubland. So we'll play the Scrubland. Lotus Petal, Lotus the Ritual, the three black. Cracking that Lotus. Four green. Using two and the green for a food chain. Exile this here Phantasmal image. Eight of the blues. We'll use four of it because there's eight for Displacer Kitten. We'll use one black to cast, put Demonic Consultation on the stack. Mm -hmm. Trigger Displacer Kitten, Bouncing Atraxa. Channel Besaju, targeting food chain. Underground Seat. Kitten Trigger, Flickering Atraxa. We're good. Eight, nine, or ten. Wow, that's exactly what you needed to see. From Atraxa, I got Jeweled Lotus, Polluted Delta, Fluster Storm, and Thassa's Oracle. Mmm, that's a lucky hit. Back down to Demonic Consultation. I will name... <laughs> <laughs> the infamous Cruel Claw. Yeah. Yeah, use the two blue, put Thassa's on the stack. Woo! Good game. What a good game. That was, that was wild. That was a spectacular showing. You didn't end up winning either of the games, but you put threats out immediately with Cruel Claw. What are your first impressions of the deck? Uh, I think it uh, flips better than Kinnon. I mean, For all you Kinnon, you know, lovers. Uh, I think it's more fun, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it. I think it needs a little bit more work. I threw this together fairly quickly, uh, but with yeah, a few more edits, I think it could go a lot farther. I think you've got a great shell for it. I love the Eldrazi, because it's just immediate. I don't know, like, it seemed like you were manipulating the top card of your library, even though I know you weren't, but it sure seemed like you had, like, do, do you run Sensei's Defining Top in there? Because that seems like maybe something you would want to run. Uh, no, not really, actually. It's too low, and I'm too afraid to hit it on a flip. Um, so it's, it's literally 60 lands, uh, Eldrazi, and Lightsteel Colossus, and a few other big creatures. Hot damn. That's wild. So, like, what, what cards are you thinking you want to add? Do, do you want to continue working with this deck, or are you going to throw this up? There, and, you know, that might not be too bad with some uh, indestructible creatures uh, in the deck. It would really hose everybody else over. But World Fire could be a good addition. Uh, and then just more big creatures. Stuff to give me uh, more treasures for when I get creatures stuck in my hand. Absolutely. Well, I think it was an incredible showing. I love seeing the Eldrazi come out, and I can't wait to see what you do with it. Thanks for joining us on the Gauntlet. See you next time. Boom!